hello guys welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna show you how to configure two M.2 SSDs into RAID 0 configuration as a bootable drive by this time I think most of you people would have realized that RAID 0 configuration is not as simple as it seems to be especially when you have to configure them into RAID 0 configuration as a bootable drive so let me show you how it's done guys enter into the BIOS setup use the Dell button to enter into the BIOS setup and then from there you directly go to the BIOS features and here you go to option Windows 8 10 features and from other OS you make it to Windows 8 10 WHQL I don't know the difference between Windows 8 10 and WHQL but make sure you click on the WHQL because the second option will automatically be changed into other OS once you reboot your system I don't know why this is the problem but then turn off the CSM sport and now go to the peripherals and from there you have to see the SATA configuration yes and make sure it is AHCI you have to turn it into the RAID then go to save and exit and save and exit setup yes that's all now in the next step again you have to enter into the BIOS setup press the Dell button and enter into the BIOS setup and make and th this time you will see that your screen has miniaturized or something like it's small now go to the peripherals right away and you'll see an option Intel rapid storage technology it was not here before but now it has came so click on it and then create red volume here you can rename your uh, volume red volume to anything like suppose I am giving it a name Mm, let's say we, I name it to Gideon as it's the name of my system so just let give, let's give it a name so in, from down here you read zero strip and then select both of them dot two SSDs the X symbol shows that they have they've been selected now create volume and a normal volume has been created now go to save and exit again and save and exit the setup from here you have to go to the BIOS again repeat the steps you press the Dell button and go to the directory and from boot override you have to click on the UEFI um, drive which I have installed but make sure while making a device port uh, bootable you have to make sure the device is, has been in GPT format otherwise your system will not boot and now while entering from booting that device make sure that you have the GPT format otherwise your device will not be shown the bootable drive will not be shown in the BIOS if you have the UEFI GPT formation then only you only then you can boot from your USB thumb drive now entering the Windows setup and install now wait a minute alright wait for the setup to get started and uh, yeah come on come on yes there you go now accept all the sense terms and whatever yeah 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 and yeah now at this is the most important point make sure you have downloaded the Intel rapid storage technology driver and one thing you have to make sure is that your driver version matches with the version of the windows you are going to install I mean that if you're like I've been installing the windows uh, which is not the latest version it is the first edition that came in 2015 so you have to the download the driver that came into 2015 mm, and then you have to mm, place it into the your bootable drive as a raid for uh, as name the folder as raid and place it and then go to the load driver and then show the point where this driver has been located and then click next now let the driver to load it will take some time depending upon your ready drives the speed of your ready drives before it shows you all the drives and yes there you go 
uh, I have an unallocated space down here and then I have to click new to create a new partition and yeah I'll make I'll make no partition I'll just make a new simple partition and it is to be noted that you cannot mm, make two partitions of a red volume it has to remain one in one piece and you can see that some other partitions are created which are not necessarily important and they're just a waste of space of a few MBs that doesn't matter but if you want to delete them a single one or two then you can delete them it is basically MSR reserve but there are two of them you can delete one that doesn't matter anymore and now I have to select the primary partition and click next and uh, for those people who didn't understand the video methodology I have also created some mm, the instructions in the description below thank you for watching this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then you're requested to subscribe to the channel thank you very much